Mizoram English, listen, is a state in northeast India, with Aizal as its capital city. The name is derived from Mizo, the name of the native inhabitants, and Ram, which means land, and thus Mizoram means land of the Mizos. Within the northeast region, it is the southernmost landlocked state, sharing borders with three of the seven sister states, namely Tripura, Assam and Manipur. The state also shares a 722 km border with the neighboring countries of Bangladesh and Myanmar. Like several other northeastern states of India, Mizoram was previously part of Assam until 1972, when it was carved out as a union territory. It became the 23rd state of India, a step above Union Territory, on 20 February 1987, with 53rd Amendment of Indian Constitution, 1986, Mizoram's population was 1,091,014, according to a 2011 census. It is the second least populous state in the country. Mizoram covers an area of approximately 21,087 square kilometers. About 91% of the state is forested, about 95% of the current population is of diverse tribal origins who settled in the state, mostly from Southeast Asia, over waves of migration starting about the 16th century but mainly in the 18th century. This is the highest concentration of tribal people among all states of India, and they are currently protected under Indian constitution as a scheduled tribe. Mizoram is one of three states of India with a Christian majority, 87%. Its people belong to various denominations, mostly Presbyterian in the north and Baptists in the south. Mizoram is a highly literate agrarian economy, but suffers from slash and burn jhum, or shifting cultivation, and poor crop yields. In recent years, the jhum farming practices are steadily being replaced with a significant horticulture and bamboo products industry. The state S gross state domestic product for 2012 was estimated at 6991 crore rupees 970 million dollars about 20% of mizoram s population lives below poverty line with 35% rural poverty the state has about 871 kilometers of national highways with nh54 and nh150 connecting it to assam and manipur respectively it is also a growing transit point for trade with Myanmar and Bangladesh. Etymology The term Mizoram is derived from two Mizo words Mizo and Ram. Mizo is the name used to call the native inhabitants and Ram means land. There is dispute on the term Zo. According to one view, Zo means highland or hill, and Mizoram means, land of the Mizos. B. Lalthangliana says, Zo, may also mean, cold region, and therefore, Mizo may also signify people of the cold region. History The origin of the Mizos, like those of many other tribes in the northeastern India, is shrouded in mystery. The people living in the Mizo Hills were generally referred to as the Kuchis or Kukis by their neighboring ethnic groups which was also a term adopted by the British writers. The claim that the Kukis are the earliest known residents of the Mizo Hills area must be read in this light. The majority of the tribes classified as Mizo today most likely migrated to their present territories from the neighboring countries in several waves, starting around 1500 CE before the British Raj, the various Mizo clans lived in autonomous villages. The tribal chiefs enjoyed an eminent position in the gerontocratic Mizo society. The various clans and subclans practiced slash and burn, locally called jum cultivation, a form of subsistence agriculture. The chiefs were the absolute rulers of their respective clans' territories Ram, although they remained under the nominal political jurisdictions of the Rajas of Manipur, Tripura and Burma. There were many instances of tribal raids and head hunting led by the village chieftains. Head hunting was a practice which involved ambushing, taking slaves and cutting off the heads of fighters from the enemy tribe, bringing it back, and displaying it at the entrance of the tribal village. British era 1840s to 1940s Some of the earliest records of raids and inter-tribal conflicts are from the early 19th century. 
In the 1840s, Captain Blackwood of Britain marched into the Mizo Hills with his troops to punish a Palian tribal chief for raiding British interests in India. A few years later, Captain Lester was wounded in a battle with the Lusay tribe in the region that is now Mizoram. In 1849, a Lusay tribal raid killed 29 members of the Thados tribe and added 42 captives to their clan. Colonel Lister retaliated in 1850, with the cooperation of the Thados tribe, an event historically called the First British Invasion, burning down a Luce village of 800 tribal houses and freeing 400 Thados captives. British historical records on the Mizo Hills state similar inter-ethnic tribal raids for loot, slaves and retaliatory battles continued for decades. The Mizo Hills formally became part of British India in 1895, and practices such as head hunting were banned in Mizoram as well as neighboring regions. The northern and southern Mizo Hills became the Lushai Hills, with Aizal as their headquarters by declaring the whole area as excluded area till India got independence from the British. At the time of the British conquest, there were around 60 chiefs. After Christian missionaries arrived with the gospel, the majority of the population became Christians in the first half of the 20th century. Post-1947 By the time India gained independence from the British Empire, the number of tribal chiefs had increased to over 200. The educated elites among the Mizos campaigned against the tribal chiefdoms under the banner of the Mizo Union. As a result of their campaign, the hereditary rights of the 259 chiefs were abolished under the Assam Lushai District Acquisition of Chiefs' Rights Act, 1954. Village courts were re-implemented in the Mizo region along with other parts of Assam. All of these regions were frustrated by these arrangements and by centralized Assam governance. The Mizos were particularly dissatisfied with the government's inadequate response to the 1959-60 Mautam famine. The Mizo National Famine Front, a body formed for famine relief in 1959, later developed into a new political organization, the Mizo National Front MNF, in 1961. A period of protests and armed insurgency followed in the 1960s, with the MNF seeking independence from India. In 1971, the government agreed to convert the Mizo Hills into a Union territory, which came into being as Mizoram in 1972. Following the Mizoram Peace Accord 1986 between the government and the MNF, Mizoram was declared a full-fledged state of India in 1987. Mizoram was given two seats in the parliament, one each in the Lok Sabha and in the Rajya Sabha. The region has been peaceful in recent decades. Between 2006 and 2013, no more than two civilians have died each year from protest-related violence, or less than 0.2 people per 100,000. The world's average annual death rate from intentional violence, in recent years, has been 7.9 per 100,000 people. Geography Mizoram is a landlocked state in northeast India whose southern part shares 722 kilometers long international borders with Myanmar and Bangladesh, and northern part share domestic borders with Manipur, Assam and Tripura. It is the fifth smallest state of India with 21,087 square kilometers 8,142 square miles. It extends from 21 degrees 56 into 24 degrees 31 n, and 92 degrees 16. e to 93 degrees 26. e. The Tropic of Cancer runs through the state nearly at its middle. The maximum north-south distance is 285 km, while maximum east-west stretch is 115 km. Mizoram is a land of rolling hills, valleys, rivers and lakes. As many as 21 major hill ranges or peaks of different heights run through the length and breadth of the state, with plains scattered here and there. The average height of the hills to the west of the state are about 1,000 meters 3,300 feet. These gradually rise up to 1,300 meters 4,300 feet to the east. Some areas, however, have higher ranges which go up to a height of over 2,000 meters 6,600 feet. Fongkui Talang, also known as the Blue Mountain, situated in the southeastern part of the state, is the highest peak in Mizoram at 2,210 meters (7,250 feet). About 76% of the state is covered by forests, 8% is fallows land, 3% is barren and considered uncultivable area, while cultivable and sown area constitutes the rest. 
slash and burn or jump cultivation, though discouraged, remains in practice in Mizoram and affects its topography. The State of Forest Report 2015 states that Mizoram has the highest forest cover as a percentage of its geographical area of any Indian state, being 88.93% forest. Mizoram terrain is, according to the Geological Survey of India, an immature topography, and the physiographic expression consists of several almost north-south longitudinal valleys containing series of small and flat hummocks, mostly anticlinal, parallel to sub-parallel hill ranges and narrow adjoining synclinal valleys with series of topographic highs. The general geology of western Mizoram consists of repetitive succession of neogene sedimentary rocks of the Surma group and Tipam formations such as sandstone, siltstone, mudstone and rare pockets of shell limestone. The eastern part is the Barail group. Mizoram lies in seismic zone B, according to the India Meteorological Department, as with other northeastern states of India, this means the state has the highest risk of earthquakes relative to other parts of India. The biggest river in Mizoram is Chimtuapui, also known as Kaladin or Kolodine. It originates in Chin State in Burma and passes through Saiha and Lantle districts in the southern tip of Mizoram, goes back to Burma's Rakhine State. Although many more rivers and streams drain the hill ranges, the most important and useful rivers are the Talan, Tut, Tuiriel and Tuaval which flow through the northern territory and eventually join the Barak River in Kachar district. The rivers have a gentle drainage gradient particularly in the south. Palak Lake is the biggest in Mizoram and covers 30 hectares 74 acres. The lake is situated in Saiha district of southern Mizoram. It is believed that the lake was created as a result of an earthquake or a flood. The local people believe that a submerged village remains intact deep under the waters. The Tamdil Lake is a natural lake situated 85 kilometers 53 miles from Izal. Legend has it that a huge mustard plant once stood in this place. When the plant was cut down, jets of water sprayed from the plant and created a pool of water, thus the lake was named Tamdil which means a lake of mustard plant. Today the lake is an important tourist attraction and a holiday resort. The most significant lake in Mizo history, Rih Dil, is ironically located in Burma, a few kilometers from the Indo-Burma border. It was believed that departed souls pass through this lake before making their way to Pialral or heaven. Mizoram is also called a peninsula state, as it is surrounded by international borders on three sides. Climate Mizoram has a mild climate, being relatively cool in summer 20 to 29 degrees Celsius 68 to 84 degrees Fahrenheit, but progressively warmer most probably due to climate change with temperature crossing 30 degrees Celsius with winter temperatures ranging from 7 to 22 degrees Celsius 45 to 72 degrees Fahrenheit. The region is influenced by monsoons, raining heavily from May to September with little rain in the dry cold season. The climate pattern is moist tropical to moist subtropical, with average state rainfall 254 centimeters, 100 in per annum. In the capital Izal, rainfall is about 215 centimeters, 85 in, and in Lungale, another major center, about 350 centimeters, 140 in. The state is in a region where cyclones and landslides can cause weather-related emergencies. Biodiversity Mizoram has the third highest total forest cover with 1,594,000 hectares, 3,940,000 acres, and highest percentage area, 90.68%, covered by forests among the states of India, according to 2011 Forest Survey of India. Tropical semi-evergreen, tropical moist deciduous, subtropical broadleaved hill, and subtropical pine forests are the most common vegetation types found in Mizoram. Bamboo is common in the state, typically intermixed with other forest vegetation, about 9,245 square kilometers 44% of the state's area is bamboo bearing. The state and central governments of India have cooperated to reserve and protect 67% of the land covered by forests, and additional 15% by management. Only 17% of the land is non-forested area for cultivation, industry, mining, housing and other commercial human activity. Satellite data suggests 91% of state 
S geographical area is covered by forests, jump cultivation, or slash and burn practice, was a historic tradition in Mizoram and a threat to its forest cover. This practice has reduced in recent decades, due to a government-supported initiative to support horticultural crops such as pineapple and banana plantations. Mizoram is host to numerous species of birds, wildlife and flora. About 640 species of birds have been identified in the state, many of which are endemic to the Himalayan foothills and Southeast Asia. Of the birds found in Mizoram forests, 27 are on the worldwide threatened species lists and 8 are on the critically endangered list. Prominent birds spotted in Mizoram include those from the families of Phasianidae, Anatidae, Siconiidae, Threskiornithidae, Ardiidae, Pelicanidae, Phalacricoracidae, Falconidae, Accipitridae, Odididae, Ralidae, Heliornithidae, Turnisidae, Burhinidae, Caridriidae, Scolopacidae, Jacanidae, Laridae, Columbidae, Sitacidae, Cuculidae, Strigidae, Capramulgidae, Apodidae, Alcidinidae, Meropidae, Buccaratidae, Ramphistidae, Pisidae, Pitidae, Laniidae, Campephagidae, Decuridae, Corvidae, Paridae, Corundinidae, Cysticolidae, Pycnonotidae, Sylviidae, Timoliidae, Cididae, Sternidae, Tertidae, Dicidae, Chloriciidae, Placiidae, Motosilidae, Fringillidae, Nectariniidae, and Muscacapidae. Each of these families have many species. The state is also host to a variety of fauna, just like its sister northeastern Indian states. Mammal species observed in the Mizoram forests include slow loris, Nyctisibus cooking, red sarrow, Capricornus rubidus, which is the state animal, goral, Nimorhadus goral, tiger, Panthera tigris, leopard, Panthera pardus, clouded leopard, Neophelis nebulosi, leopard cat, Prionellurus bengalensis, and Asiatic black bear, Ursus thibetinus. Primate seen include stump-tailed macaque, Macaca arctoids, hulak gibbon, hylobates hulak, fares leaf monkey, Trachypithecus ferae, and cap langer, Trachypithecus pileatus. The state is also home to many reptiles, amphibians, fish, and invertebrates. The state has two national parks and six wildlife sanctuaries: Blue Mountain Fongpui National Park, Dampa Tiger Reserve, largest Lengthing Wildlife Sanctuary, Merlin National Park, Nagingpui Wildlife Sanctuary, Tawi Wildlife Sanctuary, Konglung Wildlife Sanctuary, and Thorangling Wildlife Sanctuary. Demographics Mizoram has a population of 1,091,014 with 552,339 males and 538,675 females. This reflects a 22.8% growth since 2001 census, still, Mizoram is second least populated state of India. The sex ratio of the state is 976 females per thousand males, higher than the national ratio 940. The density of population is 52 persons per square kilometer. The literacy rate of Mizoram in 2011 was 91.33%, higher than the national average 74.04%, and second best among all the states of India. About 52% of Mizoram population lives in urban areas, much higher than India's average. Over one third of the population of Mizoram lives in Aizal district, which hosts the capital. Ethnic groups The great majority of Mizoram's population consists of several ethnic tribes who are either culturally or linguistically linked. These ethnic groups are collectively known as Mizos, Mi means people, Zo means hill, Mizo thus is hillman. Mizo people are spread throughout the northeastern states of India, Burma and Bangladesh. They belong to numerous tribes, however, to name a particular tribe as the largest is difficult as no concrete census has ever been undertaken. Sometime in the 16th century CE, the first batch of Mizo crossed Tiao River and settled in Mizoram and they were called as Kukis by Bengalis. The term Kuki mean the inhabitants of the interior and inaccessible mountain tracts. Sometimes grouped as Kuki Chin tribes, the first batch were called Old Kukis, which are the Beat and the Rankal, and the second batch that followed include Lushay, or Luse, Pate, Lai, Mara, Ralt, Hmar, Thadu, Shendis, and several other. These tribes are subdivided into numerous clans, and these clans are further subdivided into sub clans, for example, the Hmars are divided into Thik, Fairium, Lungtau, Darngon, Kabing, Zot, and others. These clans sometimes have slight linguistic differences. 
The Bru, Riang, Chakma, Tanchangya, Chin origin of northern Arakan Mountain, are some non-Kuki tribes of Mizoram, with some suggestion that some of these are Indo-Aryan in their origins. The Bene Menashe tribe claim Jewish descent. The diversity of tribal groups reflects the historical immigration patterns. Different tribes and sub-tribes arrived in the present Mizoram, in successive waves and settled down in different parts of the state. Further, as they arrived, there were raids, fear of raids and inter-tribal feuds. The resulting isolation and separation created numerous tribes and sub-tribes. The Mizo people usually suffix their descriptive given names with their tribe. Other than tribal groups, other ethnic groups inhabit Mizoram. For example, Nepali Gorkhas were encouraged to settle in Izal area and other parts of Mizoram during the British colonial times. Thousands of their descendants are now residents of Mizoram. Protected demographic category According to 2011 census, Mizoram had 1,036,115 people, 95% of total, classified as scheduled tribe, the highest concentration of protected tribal people in all states of India. This demographic classification, given to Mizoram tribes since the 1950s, has provided reservations and extra resources in education and government job opportunities, a preferential treatment as a means to accelerate their integration with mainstream society. Languages Mizo is the official language and the most widely used language for verbal interactions, but English, being important for education, administration, formalities and governance, is widely used. The Dulyan dialect, also known as the Luce, was the first language of Mizoram and has come to be known as the Mizo language. The language is mixed with other dialects like the HMAR, Mara, Lai, Thadu Kuki, Pate, Gangti, etc. Christian missionaries developed the Mizo script. Writing is a combination of the Roman script and Hunterian transliteration methodology with prominent traces of a phonetics-based spelling system. There are 25 letters in the alphabet, A, A, B, C, H, D, E, F, G, N, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, R, S, T, T, with a dot under, U, V, Z. Mizo is one of the languages with official status in India, at the state level. Nepali is also spoken by Nepali immigrants to the state. The major languages spoken as per census 2011 are Mizo, 734,910, Chakma, 96,972, Pawi, 51,406, Kuki, 45,754, Lakar, 42,754, Hmar, 29,587, Pate, 23,183, etc. Religion the majority of Mizos are Christians in various denominations, predominantly Presbyterian. Mizoram has a Chakma Theravada Buddhist population of 8.5%, making them the largest minority, followed by Hindus at 2.7% according to the 2011 census. There are several thousand people, mostly ethnic Mizo, who have converted to Judaism claiming to be one of the lost Judaic tribe group B'nai Manash, with descent from the biblical Manasseh. Muslims make up about 1.3% of the state population. The remaining 3,000 people are Sikhs, Jains and other religions. Christianity The major Christian denomination is Mizoram Presbyterian Church which was established by a Welsh missionary Rev. D. E. Jones starting in 1894. By the time India gained independence from British Empire, some 80% of Lushay tribe people had converted to Christianity. The Mizoram Presbyterian Church is one of the constituted bodies of the General Assembly of the Presbyterian Church of India at Shillong in Meghalaya. It became the dominant sect of Christianity in North Mizoram Hills. In the southern hills of Mizoram, the Baptist Church had the dominant following. Other Christian churches present in Mizoram include the United Pentecostal Church, the Salvation Army, the Seventh-day Adventist Church, Koran Thanglim, Roman Catholic, Laram Isua Krista Baptist Koran, LIKVK, Congregational Church of India, Maryland, Evangelical Church of Maryland, Independent Church of India, ICI, and Evangelical Free Church of India, EFCI. Buddhism According to 2001 census report there are more than 70,494 people who follow Buddhism in Mizoram. 
The Chakmas and Tongchangya or Tanchangya have been Buddhist since historical times and there are approximately 100 monasteries, known as Vihara in Pali, in Mizoram. Of the many schools of Buddhism that are exist recent time Theravada Buddhism in Mizoram. Hinduism According to the 2001 census, there were 31,562 Hindus in Mizoram, or about 3.55%. Out of this, 26,448 were non-indigenous and 5,114 were indigenous tribal. Earlier there were significant Hindu population among the Riang group communities, but after the communal clash, many of them migrated to Tripura and Assam. In 1961, the Hindu population was about 6%. Others there are also a few Mizos who practice Judaism 866 according to the 2001 census and a modernized traditional Mizo religion called Hnam Sakwa, which puts a particular emphasis on Mizo culture and seeks to revive traditional Mizo values, while at the same time attacking the influence brought about by Christianity on Mizo people. A total of 1,367 people practiced the Mizo religion according to the 2001 census. This number included, in addition to the original Mizo religion, 755 people, adherents of other tribal religions such as Lalchunkua, 279, Lalnam, 122, and Nunalalchunkua, 211. Politics Originally village land, locally called Ram, was the property of the tribal chief. The institution of chieftainship began in the 16th century. Each village behaved like a small state, and the chief was called law. The rule was hereditary, and there were no written laws. The first script for Mizo language was developed by Christian missionaries Lorraine and Savage about 1895. After annexation by the British in the 1890s, northern part of Mizoram was administered as the Lushai Hills district of Assam, while southern Mizoram was part of Bengal. In 1898, the southern part was transferred from Bengal to Assam. The colonial power retained the chiefs and Mizo customs, including the socially stratified hereditary transfer of political power. In 1937, under Section 6 of the Scheduled District Act, the British administration consolidated executive and legislative political power to the deputy commissioner and district magistrates, with village chiefs in advisory role. The political and judiciary powers of chiefs were neither final nor exclusive thereafter. Rulings could be appealed to courts staffed with British officials. After India gained independence from the colonial rule, the region was granted autonomous status in 1952, where Mizo people formulated their own laws and delivered judicial decisions. The region was renamed as Mizo District within Assam State in April 1954 and in that year, the institution of hereditary chieftainship was abolished, and instead village courts, council were set up. In the same year the Young Mizo Association was formed which is still an important institution in Mizoram. The representatives of the Lushai Hills Autonomous District Council and the Mizo Union pleaded with the State's Reorganization Commission SRC, to integrate the Mizo-dominated areas of Tripura and Manipur with the District Council in Assam. The tribal leaders in the northeast were unhappy with the final SRC recommendations and met in Aizal in 1955 to form a new political party, Eastern India Tribal Union EITU. This group raised their demand for a separate state comprising all the hill districts of Assam. However, the demand was not accepted by the government. In the 1950s, the fears of Assamese hegemony and perceived lack of government concern led to growing discontent among the Mizos. The Mizos were particularly dissatisfied with the government's inadequate response to the 1959-60 Mautam famine. The Mizo National Famine Front, a body formed for famine relief in 1959, later developed into a new political organization, the Mizo National Front MNF, in 1961. The front sought sovereign independence for the Mizo territory, staging an armed insurrection with the 28 February 1966 uprising against the government. The revolt was suppressed by the government of India, which carried out airstrikes in Aizal and surrounding areas. The secessionist Mizo National Front was outlawed in 1967, as the Mizo Union and other organizations continued the demand for a separate Mizo state within the Republic of India. Assam state was split, reorganized into multiple political regions, Mizo Hills area was declared Mizoram after the insurgency, and it received status as a union territory in 1972. 
A peace accord was signed between central government and insurgent groups of Mizoram on 30 June 1986. For the accord, insurgents surrendered their arms and Mizoram became the 23rd state of India in 1986, formalized the following year. The first election of Mizoram Legislative Assembly was held on 16 February 1987. Elections have been held at five-year intervals since then. The most recent Mizoram elections were held for 40 seats of Legislative Assembly on 25 November 2013. The voter turnout was 81%. The Indian National Congress led by Lal Thanhala was re-elected to power. Sri Kumanam Rajashikaran is the present governor of Mizoram. Administration The Mizoram State Legislative Assembly has 40 seats and the village councils are the grassroots of democracy and leadership in Mizoram. The state has a chief minister, council of ministers with a portfolio of ministries responsible for different priorities and role of the government. There are three autonomous district councils ADCs for ethnic tribes in Mizoram, namely Chakma Autonomous District Council in the southern part of state, bordering Bangladesh, Lai Autonomous District Council LADC for Lai people in the southern part of the state, and Mara Autonomous District Council MADC for Mara people in the southern eastern corner. There are eight districts in Mizoram. The district of Mizoram is headed by a deputy commissioner who is in charge of the administration in that particular district. The deputy commissioner is the executive head of the district, responsible for implementing government regulations, the law and order situation in the district, as well as being responsible for tax collection for the government. A superintendent of police is responsible for the police administration of each district. These officials work with the village councils in each district. Economy Mizoram Gross State Domestic Product, GSDP, in 2011-2012 was about 6,991 crore rupees $970 million. The state's gross state domestic product, GSDP, growth rate was nearly 10% annually over 2001-2013 period. With international borders with Bangladesh and Myanmar, it is an important port state for Southeast Asian imports to India, as well as exports from India, the biggest contributors to state. SGSDP growth are agriculture, public administration and construction work. Tertiary sector of service sector continued to have the contribution to the GSDP with its share hovering between 58% and 60% during the past decade. As of 2013, according to the Reserve Bank of India, 20.4% of total state population is below poverty line, about same as the 21.9% average for India. Rural poverty is significantly higher in Mizoram, with 35.4% below the poverty line compared to India. S rural poverty average of 25.7, while in urban areas of Mizoram, 6.4% are below the poverty line. Mizoram has a highly literate workforce, with literacy rate of nearly 90% and widespread use of English. The state has a total of 4,300 km of roads of which 927 km are high-quality national highways and 700 km of state highways. The state is developing its Kolodyne River for navigation and international trade. Mizoram's airport is at the capital city of Izal. The state is a power deficit state, with plans to develop its hydroelectric potential. After agriculture, the major employer of its people include handloom and horticulture industries. Tourism is a growth industry. In 2008, the state had nearly 7,000 registered companies. The state government has been implementing special economic zones SEZs, to encourage economic growth. Agriculture Between 55% to 60% of the working population of the state is annually deployed on agriculture. The sector S contribution to the gross state domestic product was 30% in 1994, just 14% in 2009 due to economic growth of other sectors. Agriculture has traditionally been a subsistence profession in Mizoram. It is seen as a means for generate food for one's family, ignoring its potential for commerce, growth, and prosperity. Rice remains the largest crop grown in Mizoram by gross value of output. 
Fruits have grown to become the second largest category, followed by condiments and spices. Jum practice before 1947, agriculture in Mizoram predominantly used to be slash and burn driven jum cultivation. This was discouraged by the state government, and the practice has been slowly declining. A 2012 report estimates the proportion of shifting cultivation area in Mizoram to be about 30% predominant part of which was for rice production 56% to 63% depending on the year. Despite dedicating largest amount of labor, jum cultivated and non-jum crop area to rice, the yields are low. Mizoram average rice yields per acre is about 70% of India. S average rice yield per acre and 32% of India's best yield. Mizoram produces about 26% of rice it consumes every year, and it buys the deficit from other states of India. The crop area used for jum cultivation rotates in Mizoram, that is, the area slashed and burnt for a crop is abandoned for a few years and then Jumi is returned to slash and burn the same plot after a few years of non-use. The primary reasons for cyclical jum cultivation includes, according to Goswami et al., personal, economic, social and physical. Jum cultivation practice offers low crop yields and is a threat to the biome of Mizoram. They suggest increased government institutional support, shift to higher income horticultural crops, assured supply of affordable food staples for survival as means to further reduce jum cultivation. Horticulture in horticulture and floriculture, Mizoram is a significant producer and global exporter of anthurium over 7 million a year and roses. It is also a significant producer and domestic supplier of banana, ginger, turmeric, passion fruit, orange and chow chow. Mizoram has accomplished this horticulture success and exports in 2009, with just 6% of its cultivated land dedicated to horticulture and floriculture, indicating a large potential for further growth and economic integration with other Indian states as well export-driven economy. In 2013, the area dedicated to horticulture and floriculture increased to 9.4% of 1.2 million hectares potential. The agricultural productivity is very low in Mizoram. The state gets a lot of rain, but its soil is porous and irrigation infrastructure very inadequate, this has affected its crop yield and reliability. The yield issue that can be addressed by building irrigation infrastructure and adoption of better crop technologies. The state also has very low consumption of fertilizer and pesticides, which scholars suggest offers an opportunity for organic farming particularly of vegetables and fruits. Forestry, fisheries and sericulture Mizoram is one of the leading producers of bamboo in India, has 27 species of bamboo, and supplies 14% of India's commercial bamboo. Forest products contribute about 5% to the state's gross product. The state produces about 5,200 metric tons of fish a year, about 12% of potential that can be sustainably achieved. Sericulture is an important handicraft industry engaged by nearly 8,000 families in over 300 Mizo villages. Industry Mizoram faces difficulties in the advancement of industries. Lack of transport infrastructure is one of the major drawbacks. Other problems faced by the state includes shortage of electricity, capital, telecommunication and export market access. Mizoram has two industrial estates at Zuigtui and Kalasov. Another software technology park is being established in Mizoram University campus. The state government has acquired 127 acres of land in Kanwam for development of the Indo-Myanmar border trade township. Education infrastructure The first primary school was set up in 1898 at Izal by Christian missionaries. The state has long enjoyed higher literacy rates than average literacy rates for India. In 1961, the literacy was 51%. By 2011 census, it had reached 92%, compared to 74% average for India. Mizoram is second only to Kerala. There were 3,894 schools in Mizoram as of 2012. Of these, 42% are publicly owned and managed by central, state governments, 28% are private without government subsidies, 21% are private with government subsidies, and the rest are primary and middle schools that are government financed by run by three autonomous district councils of Mizoram. The teacher-pupil ratio is about 120 for primary, 1 to 9 for middle school, 113 for high, and 115 for higher secondary schools. There are several educational establishments under the umbrella of the Ministry of Education, including universities, colleges and other institutions. 
Within Mizoram University, there are 29 undergraduate departments including two professional institutions affiliated with the university. The state had 22 other colleges, and the total college enrollment was approximately 10,600 students in 2012. Other well-known institutes are National Institute of Technology Mizoram, ICFAI University, Mizoram, College of Veterinary Sciences and Animal Husbandry, Selesa, Izal, Mizoram and Regional Institute of Paramedical and Nursing Izal. Energy infrastructure Mizoram is not self-sufficient in power. In 2012, the state had a demand for 107 megawatts of power, but had an effective installed capacity of only 29.35 megawatts. To bridge the gap, it purchased electricity from the National Grid of India. Of the total installed power generation capacity, all 29.35 megawatts came from Heidel. The state also has 22.92 megawatts of thermal power and 0.50 megawatts of diesel generating set as of March 2012. The thermal and diesel generating stations were kept on standby mode owing to their high cost of operation, and because it was cheaper to buy the power from India's grid than to operate these standby units, the hydroelectric power potential of Mizoram was assessed to be about 3,600 MW in 2010, and about 4,500 MW in 2012. If even half of this is realized, the state could supply all its citizens and industry with 24-7 electricity, as well as earn income from India's national grid. The topography of Mizoram hydroelectric resources is ideal for power projects. The following rivers are suited for Heidel projects with minimal impact on its biosphere Tuavai, Tuaval, Talan, Tut, Serlui, Tuiriel, Kolodine, Tuichong, Tuapui, Tiao and Mat. Beyond the major rivers, Mizoram has many small but perennial streams and rivulets with ideal condition for developing micro, mini and small hydroelectric projects. The state has proposed projects to attract private investments on build, own, operate and transfer boot basis with financial assistance in rehabilitating its citizens were they to be affected by the project. The largest proposed project is expected to be on Colodyne, 460 megawatts, and there are dozens of small to micro projects that have been identified. By 2014, the state had signed memorandums to build and add 835 megawatts of electricity generation projects, two of SHP with VGF, 210 megawatts, in Champai District, Colodyne 2 SHP with NHPC, 460 megawatts, in Siaha District, Baravi with Sakaria Power, 80 megawatts, in Kalasab District, Turini with SPNL 38 megawatts in Izal District, and Tuaval with SPML as well 42 megawatts in Izal District. Transport infrastructure The state is the southernmost in India. S far northeast, placing Mizoram in a disadvantageous position in terms of logistical ease, response time during emergencies, and its transport infrastructure. Prior to 1947, the distance to Kolkata from Mizoram was shorter, but ever since, travel through Bangladesh has been avoided, and traffic loops through Assam an extra 1,400 km to access the economic market of West Bengal. This remoteness from access to economic markets of India is balanced by the state. S closeness to Southeast Asian market and its over 700 km of international boundary. Road network. In 2012, Mizoram had a road network of around 8,500 kilometers, 5,300 miles, including unsurfaced village roads to surfaced national highways, and there were 106,000 registered motor vehicles. The village roads are primarily single lane or unmetalled tracks that are typically lightly trafficked. Mizoram had 871 kilometers of national highways, 1,663 kilometers of state highways and 2,320 kilometers of surfaced district roads. All of Mizoram's 23 urban centers and 59% of its 764 villages are connected by all-weather roads. However, landslide and weather damage to these roads is significant in parts. The state is connected to the Indian network through Silchar in Assam through the National Highway 54. Another highway, NH 150 connects the state's selling Mizoram to Imphal Manipur and NH 40A links the state with Tripura. 
A road between Champhai and Tidaman, Burma has been proposed and is awaiting cooperation from the Burmese authorities. Airport, Mizoram has an airport, Lengkui Airport, IATA, AJL, near Izal and its runway is 3,130 feet long at an elevation of 1,000 feet. Izal Airport is linked from Kolkata, a 60-minute flight. Inclement weather conditions mean that at certain times the flights are unreliable. Mizoram can also be reached via Assam Silchar Airport, which is about 200 kilometers 120 miles around 6 hours by road to Izal. Railway, there is a rail link at Baravi Railway Station but it is primarily for goods traffic. The nearest practical station to Mizoram is at Silchar in Assam. Baravi is about 110 kilometers 68 miles and Silchar is about 180 kilometers 110 miles from the state capital. The government is now planning to start a broad gauge Baravi Sirong railway connection for better connectivity in the state. Helicopter. A helicopter service by Pawan Hans has been started which connects the Izal with Lungale, Lontle, Saiha, Chant, Search Hip, Champhai, Kalasip, Kazal, Mamet, and Nadial. Waterways. Mizoram is in the process of developing waterways with the port of Akub Sitwe in Burma along its biggest river, Chimtuapui. It drains into Burma's Rakhine State, and finally enters the Bay of Bengal at Akyab, which is a popular port in Sitwe, Burma. The Indian government considers it a priority to set up inland waterways along this river to trade with Burma. The project is known as the Kaladin Multimodal Transit Transport Project. India is investing $103 million to develop the Sitwe port on Burma. S northern coast about 160 kilometers 99 miles from Mizoram State Peace and Development Council of Burma has committed 10 million dollars for the venture The project is expected to be complete in 2015 and consists of two parts First River Kaladin or Kolodine Chimtuapui is being dredged and widened from the port at Sitwe to Paletwa in Chin province adjacent to Mizoram this 160 km inland waterway will enable cargo ships to enter, upload and offload freight in Paletwa, Myanmar. This is expected to be complete in 2014. A second part of the project, being constructed in parallel, includes a 62 km two-lane highway from Paletwa, also known as Kalitwa or Setpiaipian, to Lomasu, Mizoram. Additionally, an all-weather multilane 100 km road from Lomasu to Lantle in Mizoram is being built to connect it with the Indian National Highway 54. This part of the project is slated to be complete by 2015. Once complete, this project is expected to economically benefit trade and horticulture exports of Mizoram, as well as improve economic access to 60 million people of landlocked northeast India and Myanmar. Education Mizoram schools are run by the state and central government or by private organization. Instruction is mainly in English and Mizo. Under the 10 plus 2 plus 3 plan, students may enroll in general or professional degree programs after passing the higher secondary examination, the grade 12 examination. Mizoram has one central university, Mizoram University, one engineering college, National Institute of Technology Mizoram, and one private university, a branch of the Institute of Chartered Financial Analysts of India. Culture The culture of the Mizo tribes and its social structure has undergone tremendous change over 100 years, since the arrival of Christianity in the late 1890s. Contemporary people of Mizoram celebrate Christmas, Easter and other Christian celebrations replacing many of old tribal customs and practices. The growth of Christianity, scholars state, was shaped from a foundation of cultural, religious and socio-political structure. One such foundation cultural element of Mizo people was Natling, states Holando, which literally means social work, united labor or community labor, the word HNA means job or work in the Mizo language, and Talang means together and mutual. The tribal members who were absent from such social work for reasons other than illness and disability, were penalized, a form of strong peer pressure. Jum cultivation and raids on neighboring tribes required natling, the spirit of united labor and equal sharing of the end result. 
A consequence of Natling was the culture of Talongaina, which does not have a direct English translation. Talongaina as cultural concept incorporates behavior that is self-sacrificing, self-denying, doing what an occasion demands unselfishly and without concern for inconvenience caused, persevering, stoical, stout-hearted, plucky, brave, firm, independent, loath to lose one's good reputation. Thus, after a fire or landslide or flood damage, the Mizo culture is one of spontaneous humble social work without demands or expectations. Several other cultural elements of ancient Mizo tribes, some of which became less prevalent after arrival of Christianity, included Zalbuk, a place near the chief's home, which served as defense camp in times of war, as well as Bachelor House, where the youth gathered and center of village life. Pathian, the term for God, to whom prayers and hymns were recited. The evil spirits were called Ramhuai. Nula Rim, the method of courtship in ancient culture. Courtship, premarital sex and polygamy were accepted. The man and the woman could have many partners. If the woman got pregnant, the man was required either marry or pay a substantial sum called sonman. If the woman's parents discover the relationship, they had a right to demand a payment called kumpuikaman. While premarital sex was accepted, a woman who was virgin at marriage was more highly esteemed than one who wasn. T. Padlawi, a young married man who engaged in extramarital relationships, something that was acceptable in traditional Mizo society. Ramri Leka, a boundary drawing that identified a chief's tenured land called Ram. Only the chief owned the land, and this ownership was hereditary. The tribe and village worked and harvested the land. In modern Mizoram, much of the social life often revolves around church. Community establishments exist in urban centers that arrange social events, sports events, musical concerts, comedy shows and other activities. Traditional festivals Traditional festivals in Mizoram often revolved around stages of jum cultivation or the seasons. Community festivals were called cut in the local language, and there were major and minor cuts such as chapchar cut, thathavang cut, mim cut and pal cut. Chapchar cut was the festival of spring, February, March, just before jum started and land was cut and burnt for a new crop. Chapchar cut was most anticipated by youth, a major festival and involved dancing and feasts. Thathavang cut celebrated completion of weeding of the jum crop fields. Mim cut was the festival dedicated to ancestors after first maize crop was collected, while Paul cut celebrated the end of harvest and the start of new year. These festivals slowly disappeared as Christianity became established in Mizoram. Chapchar cut was reintroduced and revived in 1973 by Mizo people to celebrate their heritage. Before Christianity arrived in Mizoram, home-brewed alcohol and many meat delicacies were part of the Chapchar celebrations. Now, with Mizoram's state law as a dry state, the youth busy themselves with music and community dancing. Along with reviving traditional festivals, the community has been reviving traditional dances at these festivals, for example, dances such as Chara, Kualam, Chalam and Chai. Dance Mizoram has many traditional dances, such as Chara A dance that involves men holding bamboo close to the floor. They tap the sticks open and close with the rhythm of music. Women in colorful dresses dance on top, stepping in between and out of the bamboo with the music. It requires coordination and skill. Kualam A mixed gender dance that traditionally celebrated successfully hunting with swaying cloth with singing and music. Chalam Typically performed over cool evenings with rice beer, people sit in a circle with two or more dancers in the center, they sing with impromptu often humorous compositions about recent events or guests between them with music and dancers keeping up. The song was called Chihla. Mizo people have tried to introduce Chalam dance during church sermons with controversy. Chai an important dance at the Chapchar cut, this places the musicians in the center while men and women in colorful dresses alternate and form a circle, the women held the men at their waist, while men held the women at their shoulders, they step forward to move in circles while swaying left and right with the music. 
A song may be sung which is also called chai. Music Mizo traditional tunes are very soft and gentle, with locals claiming that they can be sung the whole night without the slightest fatigue. The guitar is a popular instrument and Mizos enjoy country-style music. Within the church services are drums, commonly used and known locally as Kang. The Kang is made from wood and animal hide and are often beaten enough to instigate a trance-like state with worshippers as they dance in a circular fashion. Mizos enjoy singing and, even without musical instruments, they enthusiastically sing together, clapping hands or by using other rhythmic methods. Informal instruments are called chepture. Sports Mizoram's first football league debuted in October 2012. The Mizoram Premier League had eight teams during the 2012-2013 season and is the highest level league in Mizoram. The eight clubs include Izal, Chanmari, Dinder, FC Kulikan, Luangmo, Mizoram, RS Annex, and Reitling. The season starts each year in October and wraps up with the finals in March. Tourism Visitors to Mizoram are required to obtain an inner line permit under the special permit before visiting. Domestic and international visitors face different requirements. Domestic tourists The state requires inner line pass. This is available from the liaison officer, Government of Mizoram in Kolkata, Silchar, Shillong, Guwahati and New Delhi. Those arriving by air can obtain a 15-day visit pass at Lengkui Airport, Izal by submitting photographs and paying the fee of 120 rupees International tourists almost all foreign nationals can also get visitor pass on arrival and face the same requirements as domestic tourists. However, they additionally have to register themselves with state police within 24 hours of arrival, a formality that most resorts can provide. Citizens of Afghanistan, China and Pakistan and foreign nationals having their origin in these countries are required to get the pass through the Indian Consulate or from the Ministry of Home Affairs in New Delhi. Before they arrive in Mizoram, Mizoram is a place with flora and fauna rich landscape and pleasant climate. The Tourism Ministry regulates the maintenance and upgrade of tourist lodges throughout the state. The state is a bird watcher's destination. For Mrs. Hume, S. pheasant, Sermaticus humiae, Mizoram is a stronghold. Wild water buffalo, Sumatran rhinoceros, elephants and other mammals have been spotted in the past. Issues Alcohol prohibition In 1996 the government of Mizoram banned liquor. The church leaders, Mizoram Korin Haruaitu Committee, argue that state government should keep the ban and not seek to amend the law, while others argue prohibition should be lifted. However, it has been difficult to enforce the ban due to the high demand for alcohol. In 2008, the Mizoram Excise and Narcotics Wine Rules amended the ban of 1996 to allow the manufacture, export, sale, possession and consumption of wine in Mizoram made from grapes and guava which would help the economy of the state, reduce fruit waste from farms, and encourage large-scale commercialization. In 2011 the bill was amended to include apple, ginger, passion fruit, peach and pear wine. In 2013, the State Assembly unanimously passed a resolution to study the impact of liquor prohibition. In 2014, the state's narcotics minister noted that the liquor ban had produced some serious problems in Mizo society due to the drinking of spurious and unhealthy, locally made, liquor, known as zoo. The government suggested it would introduce an amended liquor bill allowing retail shops to operate in Izal and other district headquarters to sell liquor, but not in bars. Furthermore, they would not consult the powerful church on the issue. The amended bill was proposed to be tabled for state legislative assembly discussion after May 2014. The Mizoram Liquor Prohibition and Control Act 2014, Act No. 8 of 2014, was enacted on 10 July 2014 which received the assent of the Governor of Mizoram on of July 2014 repealed the Mizoram Liquor Total Prohibition Act, 1995, except the Mizoram Excise and Narcotics Wine, Rules, 2008. Rat Problems 
Every 50 years, the Mautam bamboo blooms and its high protein seeds lead to an explosion in the black rat population in the jungle, also referred to as the rat flood, which has historically destroyed entire villages' food supplies after rats move onto farm fields and devour crops. The 1958–59 plague provoked a rural uprising during which the indigenous Mizo people launched a violent 20-year rebellion against the federal government. The dispute only saw final resolution in 1986. The 48-year rat problem re-occurred in Mizoram over 2006-08. The crops suffered massive damage, with yields at 30-year lows. The crop yields recovered sharply to pre-Mautam levels in 2009 after the Mautam passed. Media and communication See also newspapers in Mizoram. Mizoram's media is growing quickly. Internet access is average, and private television cable channels are popular. Doordarshan, the National Television Service of India provides terrestrial broadcasting services and all India radio broadcast programs related to the indigenous culture and local news. Broadband access is available. In addition to these, there are several websites in local dialects. Print journalism remains a popular news medium in Mizoram. Local newspapers include Banglani and the Zazam Times. Notable people Lao Sangzuali Salo, a singer, songwriter, poet and radio. A. Great artiste. Brig. T. Salo, D.2015, former Chief Minister of Mizoram. Former Party Leader of the Mizoram People's Conference, MPC. Laldenga, D.1990, Freedom Fighter of Mizoram. Former Party Leader of the Mizo National Front, MNF, and the first Chief Minister of Mizoram. Zoramthanga, former Chief Minister of Mizoram and current Party Leader of the Mizo National Front, MNF. Lal Thanhala, current Chief Minister of Mizoram and Party Leader of the Mizoram Congress Party. Laurindika Ralt, Mizo footballer. Player at the Indian Super League ISL, and Hero I League. Gigi Lalpeklua, Mizo footballer. Player at the Indian Super League ISL, and Hero I League. Former captain of the Indian national football team. Shilo Malsamawanga, Mizo footballer. Former player at the Hero I League. Current player of the Mizoram Premier League MPL. Robert Lalthlamuana, Mizo footballer. Player at the Indian Super League ISL, and Hero I League. Laldahoma politician and party president of the Zoram Nationalist Party ZNP. Former member of parliament Lok Sabha for Mizoram. Zayana, the polygamous man with 38 wives and hordes of children and grandchildren. See also Tourism in Northeast India Outline of India Bibliography of India India – Wikipedia book Aizal Champhai Kalasab Lungalate Kabing Mizo Halakunkui Mule Mizo language Mizo music Mizo National Front Fongkui Talang Mautam Northeast India Seven sister states References Further reading B. Hamlet, Encyclopedia of Northeast India, Mizoram, Vol. 5, ISBN 8170997925, Bell, Ian, 1997 T. Rodden, Encyclopedia of Northeast India, Arunachal Pradesh Manipur Mizoram, ISBN 978-8178350684
Zoramdandara, Mizo Fiction, Emergence and Development, ISBN 978-93-82395-16-4 External links Government Official website Official tourism site of Mizoram General Information Mizoram Encyclopedia Britannica entry Mizoram at Curlie Geographic data related to Mizoram at OpenStreetMap